to Sao Paulo, guys. Welcome to the largest city in not only Brazil, but in all of Latin America. Just in the main central area of the city, there is a population of 13 million people. And if you take into consideration the whole metro suburb kind of area, it's closer to 22 million. This is also the financial central business hub of Brazil. When you fly over it, you literally just see like multiple downtown areas with like skyscrapers, really big buildings. It is overwhelming. So where I am walking right now is actually the main street in all of Sao Paulo called Paulista Avenue. Today is a Sunday, so they actually closed down the street for pedestrians, people exercising, and it's just a really great place to go to just take in the sights of the city, people watch, and have a really good time. This is also one of the areas of the city that I would really recommend that you guys get accommodation near if you kind of want to be in a more central area that's easy to walk to places or to take the metro. It's definitely one of the safer parts of the city and I would really recommend it. have a feast in front of us, an absolute feast. I'm here with Stephanie and Mariana. <laughs> yeah. We actually met on a tour of Aquamel with Pavo. We were on the same boat trip and they were here in Pavo, Sao Paulo and in Sao Paulo. So I figured that we would get together for a day of adventuring and super delicious food. So ladies, could you tell me what what kind of food do we have here? Like, what are these dishes here? Feijoada. Uh huh. Feijoada. Here in Brazil, we yeah. love it to eat this on Saturday. Yeah. Especially. And my own joy, which is a very artistic uh, kind of food. Yeah. Yeah, this we definitely don't have in Canada. <laughs> and this, what is that? Okay. The deep fried one. Uh huh. Vegetables. Yeah. Lovely. Uh huh. Wow. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> So what is the name of this neighborhood again? Pineros. Pineros. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely weekend thrift market here. What would you guys say is like a common thing that people in Sao Paulo do on the weekends? Uh, like, depends the stage if, if, if the person single or married. True. But, but true. For our age. Yeah. Uh, go to a bar or to the or to the cinema, parks like parks. Uh huh. Ah, have brunch or or lunch. Go to some places near but almost on countryside like. 
very close near uh, cities uh, which you can go like uh, 30 minutes from Sao Paulo for yeah. example there is like a little bit farm you know little mm -hmm. farm you can go also play soccer there is very soccer. especially for men yeah uh, soccer on Saturdays do you like football? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't like to go yeah, of course oh, I football stadium. I stay Palmeiras <laughs> Stadium I, yeah. I, I cheers for a uh, Palmeiras soccer team called yeah. Palmeiras. Yeah. 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 Nice. So, so is that a rivalry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey guys, it is Thursday morning and uh, today is going to be the first day that I'm really going to be exploring the downtown historic um, district that you know has a lot of Sao Paulo's main attractions in it. And this is actually not that far from where I'm staying. It's about a 10-15 minute walk, but I will say I am a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I did hear from my friend uh, David, the YouTube channel Life with David, that downtown Sao Paulo, you know, you gotta be careful in. So I kind of have been keeping that in mind as I've been walking in this area. And it really doesn't help that today is a holiday. So, so many things are closed. Starbucks was like one of the few businesses that I could pop into. So that is why I have booked myself on a free walking tour. You know, they're gonna take us all around in a group, which I think will be much safer for first impressions because yeah, to be honest, walking here by myself, I really don't feel that comfortable. Alright friends, we are in Santa Teresa, which is supposed to be the oldest bakery in Brazil. That is absolutely wild. And even on a holiday today, they are still open and they're supposed to have the best cojinhas. Am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. But it is a Brazilian specialty which usually has a shredded chicken in the middle, sometimes a sort of cream cheese surrounding it, and then a potato dough that is then deep fried in this sort of teardrop shape.
that is it guys. I sadly have to end the video here because unfortunately I lost some footage and speaking parts that I had in the city, but I just wanted to say that I had a fantastic time in Sao Paulo. There really is so much to do in this city. It is enormous, but make sure you stay tuned for my next video, which is also still in Sao Paulo, where I get to go to a very, very special event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.